Let's get to another NFL topic, back to the NFL, uh, because there's some headlines taking place that's now crossed into the world of politics. Are you ready for this? That bad man, Aaron Rodgers, quarterback for the New York Jets, formerly of the Green Bay Packers, is on Robert F. Kennedy Jr.'s shortlist for running mate this year. RFK Jr., who would be running as an independent, of course, confirmed that Rodgers and former Minnesota governor and pro wrestler Jesse the Body Ventura are under consideration as running mates. As for Rodgers, Kennedy says he and Aaron have been talking, quote, pretty continuously, end quote, for the past month. The Times says it's unclear if either Rodgers or Ventura have been formally offered the position, but both have welcomed the overtures. Now... There's no secret that Aaron Rodgers, the four-time NFL MVP and former Super Bowl champion with the Packers, is an ardent supporter of Kennedy. He's also recovering from an opening game Achilles tear with the Jets that cost him the entire season. Rodgers is on track to make his return to New York with a $35 million salary this year. And by the way, the Jets so far had no comment on their report. What the hell can they say? If you're the New York Jets, you should be happy you're getting headlines. Because the damn sure ain't for what you do on the football field, so let's get that out the way first. Secondly... Before anybody is willing to go off on Aaron Rodgers, because obviously what he has in common with RFK Jr. is that they both were deemed conspiracy theorists and they both were uh, entirely and diametrically opposed to the COVID vaccine. And that's how they became know they came to know each other. And I get that part. But what, no matter what you think about what Aaron Rodgers feels or some of the things that he has to say, number one, don't act like the man is stupid and ignorant. He's not. Let's get that out the way. Number two, and more importantly, I think we have to reach this conclusion. We're in no position as a society to say a damn thing to Aaron Rodgers or anybody else. It's none of that shut up and play football. It's none of that shut up and be an athlete. You shouldn't have been doing that to begin with, but you certainly can't do that now. When you have a man in Donald Trump who just secured the Republican GOP nomination. That's what he's done. When he's just done that and he's got four indictments, 91 counts against him, has been impeached twice, is on the verge of being a convicted felon, and still every time he's in the news for being sued or losing a civil case or another criminal case coming in his direction, the man gets more money. His campaign generates more dollars because the world is saying, we don't give a damn what you think. That's our guy. And we're going to ride with him no matter what, even if he gets convicted, even if he's in a zebra suit, even if he's behind bars, his folks, which, by the way, last election spanned over 73 million, said we're going to vote for him anyway. And if you're President Biden, how many people are you going to get to go to the polls to vote for you compared to what they once did? That's the reality that we're living in. So if you want to talk about Aaron Rodgers all you want to, feel free. But you can't dismiss him. Not if he takes it seriously. And RFK Jr., yes, it's a two-party system in our government, right? But guess what? He's running as an independent. He was an environmental lawyer. The dude wrote a book against Anthony Fauci and said some highly incriminating things that normally would get you sued. Nobody has sued him, which gives you an indication that there must be some nuggets of truth to what he wrote. That's who's running for the presidency as an independent. And if nothing else, who knows what they might say to spark comments and dialogues from Trump and Biden. In the end, we might learn more than we ever anticipated. Don't disrespect it. Don't shift, don't sniff it away. Take it seriously. Take it seriously.